Here I am with my glass circuit board mounted to a nice little stand here. This is an AVR with some Ethernet capabilities to it. It's actually an ATmega328, the same sort of thing that's used in many Arduinos. And uh, what we've done is we've hooked up this additional uh, LED to it on some of the outputs there. They're actually the lowest two bits of port C. And you'll see why that's important in just a moment. So what I've done is I've assigned it an IP address, a fixed IP address, and I'm right now ping flooding it. You can see that thing flying along at, um, I don't know, maybe about 200 pings a second. And it's also acting as a Minecraft server at the same time. So both Mark here, Hello. he's logged in, and I'm logged in. So I'm going to just point this at my screen for a second so I can uh, explain this. And he's going to run around and reconfigure port 2, or rather port C, to be an output port, and we're going to start flipping some levers. What we have here is we have rows of, of wool that represent different digital values inside of the chip. These are actually the I.O. ports. So here I can change which bit I want to read, or which, rather, port I want to read. I can read port 0, or I can watch the port that he's changing right here. Um, it is uh, port C, which is, uh, or rather DDRC, which is on port 7. And right now you can see that he's already set the last two, the lowest two bits to be output. And he's done this by flipping all of the levers so he can set the address he wants to set and set the value he wants to set. And we can either trigger it once to write the address or we can latch. So right now he's ready to go pull it to turn on the bottom two bits of port C. So I'm going to go over here and zoom out some so you can see both his screen and the little AVR with the LED hooked up. And uh, go for it. Pull that lever. See that? As soon as he turned it on, it lit up. Now, because we're in latch mode, he can turn on the levers willy-nilly and it'll change the state of the LED. As you can see, he's turning them on and off and we're able to turn that uh, the outputs on that AVR on and off. So. You know, Minecraft server on a kilobyte of RAM, yeah, that's not much of a challenge. Let's see if I can get a web server running on here at the same time. But I guess that'll be for the next video. I'll try to be releasing all of the source code and schematics, etc. Um, as soon as I can. Uh, it might be on GitHub. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching.